find a penny, pick it up, all day long you'll have good luck. Unless, of course, pennies are actually the source of our country's debt. Not very lucky. <laughs> <gasps> Those cute little tinkling copper-colored coins are actually hurting our economy just by making them. Now, how does making money lose us money, you might ask? <laughs> I'll tell you, because the penny. Although the penny was the first currency of any type authorized by the United States, you have to keep in mind that the penny was five times heavier than today's adorable little penny. But since then, more than 300 billion one cent coins have been minted since 1787. And they just keep getting thinner and smaller and most importantly, of less value. Penny, what's with that? You didn't need to lose weight. Be proud of that, you know, metal little body. You look great. The first penny was made of 100% copper. Pretty valuable and pretty nice. <laughs> now pennies are made of 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper. Zinc was much cheaper than copper, but now zinc is becoming, you know, more rare and thus more expensive to get. Probably because we made so many damn pennies. So now we're running out. Not necessarily making the penny more valuable, just making it more expensive to make. So now 8 billion pennies only adds up to 8 million dollars. Why would our money not add up to what our money should add up to? Because the penny is pointless and almost worthless. The average American wage was $22 an hour in 2012. So it's literally pointless for a majority of Americans to pick up a penny because their time is more valuable than the act of picking up that penny. It's probably more beneficial to just vine yourself burping because you could actually make more money doing that, you know, if it goes viral. Ah. Come on, internet. Take my burp and vine. And then when you add the cost of labor that it takes to make pennies, it now costs 2.5 cents per penny we make. In 2014, the US taxpayer lost $105 million in pennies and nickels. Yeah, because nickels are kind of dicks too. Screw you too, nickel. And here's the creepy thing. Politicians know it's a waste. Obama literally said, Anytime we're spending more money on something that people don't actually use, that's an example of something we should probably change. But we still have them! That would be like if we kept floppy disks. There's no point. But Jardin Corporations, who is the exclusive zinc provider for our pennies, tends to back a lot of certain pro-penny lobbyists in Congress. Gotta love big business! The main argument pro-penny lobbyists make against discarding the penny is the rounding tax argument, which states that retailers in the world without pennies would affect the poor and young who are more likely to spend the money using pennies. So maybe you're saying, yeah, don't affect the poor and young, but maybe we could be giving them more than pennies if we stopped wasting money making pennies. Just a thought. Besides, a study in 2006 that looked at the hundreds of thousands of transactions found that after all other taxes and fees were added, rounding prices to the nearest nickel actually benefited customers. Chipotle began rounding up to the nearest nickel to speed up their lines and then realized customers were not gonna deal with that and that it wasn't beneficial fiscally. So. Now they've rounded down, so we pay pennies less for our burrito. Chipotle gets it! We have the power in our money spending hands and our burrito eating mouths. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Tastes like victory in a tortilla. But if that study isn't enough, we can just check out our neighbor Canada, who phased out the penny in 2013. Not impressed by Canada successfully saving money by cutting the penny? Well, you can always check out Britain, France, Israel, New Zealand, Norway, and Sweden, who've all gotten rid of their smallest units of currency. We even got rid of making the $1 coin, which is saving taxpayers $50 million a year. So not only did we sort of do it, but everyone else is doing it. This might be a time to succumb to peer pressure, if it means that we can save $105 million that we can put towards school or rebuilding crumbling buildings or helping reduce our carbon footprint, housing the homeless instead of tossing them pennies on the street. We don't need pennies that bad. Bad. Clearly, other countries are doing fine without them. Let us know what you think the US could do with that extra money by losing the penny. And tweet hashtag screw the penny, let's extravagant burrito party. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to cracked.com's videos. Or if you want to comment and recommend some, you know, different types of burritos that we could use at the extravagant burrito party that we're going to do, because we've decided that's what we're going to do with $105 million, right?